Hi everybody! So, after I posted a theory video about how Blood Raven was controlling Caitlyn from afar to have her in the room when the assassin comes in to kill Bran, that's in Caitlyn's third chapter of A Game of Thrones, I wanted to post another video from this chapter about how Caitlyn Stark Tully is just a horrible detective. She doesn't know what she's doing. For context, she has already received a letter from her sister, whom she trusts, and she also has a Valyrian steel dagger that the assassin had with him. So she reaches the most plausible conclusion that the evil Lannister did it. They don't have an alibi, they have a motive. With the benefit of hindsight, obviously we know that it was not Jaime nor Cersei, but most likely Littlefinger, while some believe it was Joffrey. But we actually don't really need hindsight to know that there's something fishy going on, we just need to watch a few cop shows and use our brains. But before we get to that, I'd like to give a shout out to a couple of our patrons, Brian Walcott and Dana Bourne that have been supporting the channel for a long time. So thank you for that. And if you want to help keep this channel going and keep posting videos and also get access to exclusive content, go to patreon.com slash godacademy. So back to Caitlin. How did we get there? That she even needed to have any detective chops. So in the last video about this chapter, I went into detail about Caitlyn's deteriorating mental and emotional state. But then after the incident was over and after she slept for a couple of days, she's as good as new. She's a different person. She's herself again. More than that, she's a full-blown northerner now. She accepts the direwolf into her pack, or maybe joins their pack, after she wanted them dead just a short while ago and then she swears into that pack into the family two people who are not even northerners maester lewin and theon greyjoy so those two are already sworn to house stark but it's like a second wedding and like we know weddings always go well in this story because theon swears enthusiastically lord eddard is a second father to me I do swear. Yeah. So, she created a new pack. So this North that she never really liked and never really felt like she belonged to, she's now part of it now. So she brainstorms with her son, Rob, and Lewin, and Theon. Let them know what suspicions she has based on the letter that she got from Lysa that the Lannisters killed her husband and now she has corroborating evidence. She tells them the assassin was meant for Bran and was armed with that Valyrian steel dagger and was paid 90 stags for his trouble. So who has the motive and the means to carry out this crime? Come on, it's a no-brainer. An open and shut case. But if Caitlyn were a half-decent detective, she would have thought to herself that this reeks of a setup. Come on, would the Lannisters send this guy to a covert operation with a Valyrian steel dagger? A goddamn <laughs> Valyrian steel knife. From the mines of old Valyria, they would just give it to him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you could say that this dagger was never meant to be found, but I think that it actually was since it was Littlefinger, most probably. But even if it wasn't meant to be found, this is re still really silly. It's obvious that the knife was meant to incriminate Jaime and Cersei because does this guy really need a Valyrian steel knife to kill a sleeping boy? Huh? He can't use a non-magical knife for that. Huh? And this assassin does not have a choice of his own weapons. This pro has to ask his client to give him a weapon. Hmm? He's paid handsomely, so he must be good at his job. But he's like, I'll do it, man. I'm a pro. But, uh, you know, um, uh, do you have a gun, maybe? I need a gun. Uh, I don't have a gun. Come on. <laughs> so if you're Jamie Lannister, you're hiring an assassin, 
and you hand him a golden gun to kill a paraplegic comatose kid? That's stupid. They might as well have written Lannister all over the murder weapon and be done with it. A real detective would have suspected immediately that someone was trying to frame the Lannister because this just doesn't make any sense. So Caitlyn was manipulated by Bloodraven and now by Littlefinger. And this is putting things into motion. Her conclusion that the Lannisters are to blame is a watershed moment in the story. If the Lannisters are trying to kill them, Ned must know. And this is so top secret that she has to deliver the news herself and go to King's Landing and not send a raven or a courier. Littlefinger's manipulations have planted the seed of the idea that the Lannisters want to kill them in her mind. And now that she's looking at everything from that angle, it's easy for her to have a confirmation bias and blame the Lannisters for everything. So if you want to get more of our videos, be sure to subscribe and for exclusive videos about history, politics and also for my travel vlogs from India. I feel... Go to patreon.com slash gotacademy, there are loads of rewards and perks for those who join our community and support the channel, for which I'd like to thank our patrons. So thank you for watching, click here to watch about Bloodraven controlling Caitlyn from afar, and see you all next time, bye everybody!